This is the new Amazon Echo Sub. It can be added for additional base to Echoes, Echo Pluses, and the new third generation Echo Dot. Let's open it, check it out, and see how it works. Hi, my name is Craig. Here I do tech tips and reviews along with the weekly Echo series. Check out the description. I'll put links to the sub and the other new Echo devices. Please use those links. It definitely helps the channel out. This is the third video of week 41 of my 52 week Echo video challenge. If you haven't checked out some of the others, please do. Also, I've changed the name of my devices to computer to hopefully not trigger your device at home. Let's open it up and see what's inside. At this time, the Echo Sub will only work with music content that is being streamed from one of the supported Amazon services. Wow, this thing is heavy and big. It has a little fabric type band, paperwork, skip that, and a power cord. Okay, that's a, it in the box. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be when I ordered it. Wow, that is big. It has a very similar look to the new dots with the fabric. On the back it says, please set up your other Echo devices before plugging in your sub after your compatible Echo device is set up. Refer to the enclosed quick start guide to complete Echo Sub speaker pairing. Let's talk through the specs of this. The new Echo Sub is $129.99. It has a six inch down firing subwoofer, can deliver 100 watts of power, has a 50 to 200 Hertz adaptive low pass crossover built in. This works with first and second generation Echoes, Echo Pluses, and the third generation Echo Dot. You can either pair two Echoes in stereo pairing with the sub or run one Echo and the sub individually. It will also work with first and second generation Echo shows, but should be noted that some of the bass frequencies may still come out of the Echo show itself. It only supports music playback. Before I continue, I'm gonna say this thing is big. I am definitely curious to see what kind of sound we are going to get out of it. Let's go through the setup process. I'm gonna check it out on all these different devices. Let's start off trying it on the Echo Dot. If you are buying new devices, set them up first in the app, then power up your sub. There is a light on the back indicating that it is powering up right now. A little dot, it's a blue green little dot similar to the rings that are on top. I think that's letting me know when it's ready to go. I believe we're ready, so let's open up the app. Go to the little home button in the corner. It says that it found my sub. Select Echo in the upper left corner. Then I will pick Craig's Echo Dot. And under connected devices, you'll see it says stereo pair or subwoofer. Let's pick that, hit continue. I will select this dot that shows up then scroll down and select the subwoofer and hit next. Wait the couple minutes for it to get synced up. And this is very similar to the pairing process if you're connecting two regular echoes or two dots together, echo pluses. I did make a video on pairing two devices together for stereo sound. Okay, it's saying that our pair is created. I'm gonna use the same song that I've used in my past two videos for music just to have a consistency since I record everything at the same volume. You can go back, listen to those, and hear any comparisons there. Let's try out the dot first without the sub powered on. <laughs> That's at seven with no sub. Am I coming out of left field? This is with the sub. Go to the equalizer. That's bass turned up. That is a big improvement, actually really big. Uh, you can feel a lot of air movement. It isn't too overpowering where it's annoying. 
it just kind of fills in nicely when what's missing. Now let's try this with the show and the sub. First with the sub off. Computer play. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. A little bit of bass off the back. Computer pause. Now let's add the sub back into the mix. You definitely feel the bass more. Computer pause. Yeah, you definitely feel it there. Let's uh, try playing with the EQ. Let's look at it with the regular Echoes as a stereo pair. This is what you're going to have to do with it to get it set up. To create a stereo pair with a subwoofer, you'll need to select the devices you want to put together. I'll take my office left Echo, do stereo pair and subwoofer, hit continue. It'll show me the devices that can be paired together. I'll select office left, office right, then choose the sub, hit next. To ask me which one's right. And now I'll wait for it to go through that process again to pair them up. You would go through the same process to pair with the Echo Show. Note that you won't be able to watch video and have the sub work with video when it's playing. Our pair has been created between the two speakers and the subs included with it. Now let's check it out. First, just the Echoes without the sub. Computer play, feel it still. <laughs> That's without the sub. Let's add the sub in. Okay, that's nice. It does add some good bass to it. It is just a fuller sound. I do realize listening to these as a stereo pair, it sounds like the sound just coming right at me from the center. It's like with the circular design, it just is spreading the sound out. So it has a very full sound to it. So that's a look at it with the dot, the show, and a stereo pair of speakers. After using this, who is this for? I guess it's someone who really likes to listen to music and likes the idea of listening to music through their echoes. If you're listening to audiobooks or podcasts, I don't see the value for this. Um, if you're just feeling like your sound is lacking that low end, this fills in that gap nicely without being too much bass there. It seems to just kind of fill it in and doesn't become overpowering. If you're looking for heavy, heavy bass out of it, I don't think this is the answer for you. Uh, I think it's just a nice compliment. If you're not missing the low end on your Echo devices because of its size and its price, I don't know if I would run out and buy one. This is meant for people who know and are noticing that sound is missing. When it comes to getting the sub and an Echo, Personally, I think I would go with an Echo Show. I was really happy with the sound that was coming out of that. I felt like there was a lot more bass out of the Echo Show than there is out of a regular Echo. I think their Echo Radiator is working well. So, unless you're someone who listens to a lot of music on your Echo and you really notice that low end is not there, I don't know if it's necessarily worth getting this with the size it is and the price it is. But if you do listen to a lot of Echoes, you do like that stereo pairing, this will fill that gap for you nicely. So that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. My question for you is, do you have plans to get an Echo sub? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified of next week's video. If you'd like to help support the channel, click the Amazon link in the description, bookmark it, use it, and Amazon will kick us back a little. I appreciate you watching this. Have a great day. Bye.